Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Matthew Smith. Jessica Gill has the night off. Well, the holiday weekend has arrived, and it starts off with some music, then a bang. The Bank of the West Celebrates America show is now underway. This is a staple of summertime traditions. Our Chase Moffat is in the thick of it all. And Chase, how are things shaping up out there? Hey, Matt, yeah, just getting started. In fact, the announcement on the stage are they're honoring our veterans here. You can see they're stand up, uh, standing up now for the national anthem. Um, they, but before that, they did honor the veterans and those lives lost defending this country. So, honestly, a, uh, a celebration of America. The annual tradition continues here. You can see a live look as they get ready to uh, present the colors there on stage for the national anthem here at the Bank of the West Celebrates America concert. You can see all those people, but earlier today, they were out in force staking claim to a spot here at the park. The landscape temporarily changed along Dodge Street in front of Memorial Park Friday morning. It's also where a new spin on the morning rush is taking place inside the park. Here as early as possible to get a good space. Park opened at 5 a.m. and soon after people were filtering in to find a space and lay out their blanket. And we found a number of ways to hold down the fort. Cam veggies, sporting equipment, tennis balls, but some not remembering no stakes allowed. Take a look on the south side of Dodge. Blankets laid out here as early as 10 a.m., technically behind the stage. Uh, the guess who were here, uh, America. Back on the hill, we catch up with Jerry and Teresa Holly as they settle into their space. Jerry's a retired Omaha police officer. He doesn't have to work tonight. Friends, enjoying some good food. Good music. Good music. Good weather. Relaxing. It's going to be perfect. Um, perfect view of the stage. We're right by the first day tent. Dippin' Dots, of course. Inside the park, it's all about finding a space with a view. Kim Weiss and her two girls are out in the sun. At 15, though, Jacqueline is dealing with the weight the best she can, waiting for the show to start. I see you don't mind sitting out here in the, in the heat today? I do mind. <laughs> Mom. We've had hotter. Okay, but we've been here since like 6 o'clock or something. It feels like 9. Okay, we open up at 6 o'clock. <laughs> anyway. We have come out in years past at 6. Nice. It sucks. But it's all worth it, right? Eventually. <laughs> Once it gets dark. With last minute preps underway, the stage is set for good music. Spots picked out. All that's left, of course, the fireworks. Best to lay down on the blanket and just look straight up. Not sit and look up. Lay down. There you go. That's it's fabulous. Advice. It's fabulous. It is fabulous. That was Chase Moffat reporting. We're not going back out live to him right now. A lot of decorum going on out there as they sing the national anthem. We do want to give you a reminder, be patient tonight. There are a lot of neighborhood streets that are going to be blocked off and moving around right now. You can help out with traffic flow there, though. We want to make sure that you know there is no parking along Hollow between Dodge and Underwood, and other restrictions are in that area. Best bet is to carpool on down to the event. Event organizers say they typically draw in 50,000 people. And tonight, the headliner is Kenny Loggins with all of his hit music, including Danger Zone, Footloose. You can imagine there's going to be quite the crowds.